In this tutorial, we'll continue looking at vertex groups, and this time we'll look at them in conjunction with shape keys. And since we have all the names set right here, that'll be to our advantage. And we'll just uh, take a look right now. Let me see. We'll get an ob We'll go back into object mode, and we'll go here into edit mode, like this, so I can see it. So let's work, say, for, for instance, with the. Well, let me see. That's the corner group. Deselect the corner group. Select. There's the corner group. We have the corner group selected here. So let's go use our shape keys. I've done uh, an introductory tutorial on animating with shape keys, but so this will be a little bit of review. But I'll I'll kind of explain it anyway as I go. All right. So what I want to uh, do down here is let's see. I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to go get three, four shape keys like this. All right. Now I'm working with the corner group vertices selected right now. So I'm going to go into key one. This is our basis shape. That just stays the same. So key one, I'm going to change. So I'll go into edit mode within here. I have, let's see, do I have proportional editing set? Let me enable proportional editing. And then I'm just going to move this on G for a key one. All right, so I'll move it up like that. Okay, and then I'll go to key two. Now, so key one is, is already set. There's basis key. Now key two is the same as the basis key unless I modify it. But then I'm going to just come right up here and I'm going to deselect those vertices and I'll go to the center group and I'm going to select those. Of course I could select something else, right? And then since I'm right down here and still in key two, now I'm going to press uh, G, Z, and maybe I'll just move that down like that, okay? I think you get the idea, right? Oh, they're powerful when you use them together. All right, so they're going to come back up. Well, nope, nope, going to deselect that. And then I'm going to go up to the painted group, and I'm going to select the painted group. And uh, we know what that, well, that's all of them. We'll just see how this works here. Okay, we'll just come down to key three, and we'll see if it overrides it with the, uh, mm, since I have it painted with different weights, we'll just see how it works with proportional editing at the same time. I'm actually not sure. Let's see, GZ. I know that'll move it all. Let's try it just from the center and see what happens. GZ. Let's see if it. I think proportional editing overrides it. Let's turn off proportional editing for a moment and see what happens. GZ. No, it's just grabbing that one shape. All right. Well, so that actually that mode is not going to work well because all the vertices were selected, and but so we'll just work with shapes. One and two. Well, then we'll go. We'll do this. We'll go to key three, and then we'll go back in. We'll deselect all of those, and we'll go into the center group, and we'll just get the. Then we'll go get the corner group again, and in this case for key three, we'll just scale it. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. It, it, at least it does something. So it's really an a, it's a way to access the different vertices that you may have preset. So then you can go animate them with the shape keys. Of course, to see the results of the work, let's leave edit mode, and get back over here. And we want to get the dope sheet. There's the dope sheet right there. And then within the dope sheet, if you recall, we come down here to this menu and we go grab the shape key editor. Okay. And so there's the three keys that are set. So with the with it set here, that's its initial shape at the basis shape. So let's go to frame 100. And I'm just going to change key one. I'm going to do 100% of the change, or maybe. 88%. It doesn't really matter. And it automatically sets the keyframe for me like that. So then I'm going to go up to frame 200. And maybe I'll drop that back down to zero. And for key two, I'll just change that to 100%. And then it automatically sets the keyframe. And then for frame three, I'll drop that back to zero. And maybe set these guys all the way out like that. And or maybe we'll raise this up a little bit too. We'll just raise it like that. Okay, so that should that should be it. That's the animation created. And I press Alt A, Alt A. There he's running. Why is it from the beginning? Why do I not see a oh, wires? There it goes there. Oh, I didn't set a shape key at the first frame. So well, I'm going to go fix that. I'll go back down here to this frame. And I'll make sure every one of these gets set to zero on the first frame. Okay, let's run it. And that should go back down to, there it is, it's going back down to zero on that last one there. 
It's going into there. It should be coming back. All right, well, I think you get the idea. So you can combine the two, have access, easy access to whatever vertices that you may have set in advance because, oh, this is just kind of some random model, but maybe you have very specific vertices on a particular model that you want to move, and this is the way you do it. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.